Okay, so this is more of a transaction monitoring AML analyst role. Um, you see this a lot in America, but this one I've actually taken from a place in Australia. So just to give you an idea, a review, unusual transactions, alert, customers, and other suspicions by transaction monitoring. So it's transaction monitoring. You're going to be looking at um, certain alerts that have hit their thresholds for transactions that have you know, obviously raised a red flag, and you either clear the alert or escalate the alert. So you'll complete the applicable checks, uh, do any sort of enhanced due diligence, uh, escalate complex matters, and that will go to line two or financial crime compliance notices or suspicious matters to the AML manager for a further investigation. Uh, you will assist with suspicious matter reporting. So that basically means that you'll be writing uh, suspicious activity uh, reports of so SARS, uh, monitoring of transactions and identifying suspicious and potential fraudulent activity. So they're asking you to bring like, use your brain, you know, to maybe look at transactions as well that might be dodgy, uh, assist with the KYC, customer due diligence, EDD and onboarding. So because it's a small place, they might get you to do that as well, but they'll probably have something separate as well. Uh, politically exposed persons and a sanctions monitoring. So they'll have their own sort of system and software in place, I'm sure, but you'll have to monitor that. Or if it's, if you see, if you get a, you know, an alert for one of these things, you may need to clear it. Uh, conduct initial investigation, checks of breaches under the AML CFT program, refer any suspe uh, suspected confirmed breaches to the AML manager for further investigation. So you're basically the first line here still, and if you see anything, you have to have to mitigate it or uh, escalate. Assistant AML system policy procedure optimization, they always say this stuff. Provide AML compliance support. All aspects of the AML CFT program is required. Support of business units in their understanding and identification of management of money laundering, terrorism, financing risk. This means you might need to participate in training. Uh, liaising with other teams to ensure full compliance. Okay, that's cool. Just go to some qualifications to get a bit of an idea. So in Australia, they kind of, this is an Australian role. They want, they pay a bit more actually in Australia, but they, um, they want some more qualifications. I actually applied for some roles recently in Australia. I know I'm, I say I'm Australian, I sound Australian, but I've, most of my time's been spent in America. So I actually uh, apply for some roles in Australia and they, they, they pay a lot more money there, but they, uh, they want some serious qualifications. So they want some experience here in financial crime, fraud control, or AML, CFT operations, within the financial services. Degree in business, finance, law, so they need a degree. In America, you don't need a degree to do this. You can get lucky. Like it's, it's harder, but you can get away with it without having a degree. Australia, you need a degree. Uh, good understanding of Australian AML, CFT regulation and framework, the OSPAC, OSTRAC reporting requirements. Process driven, so they want someone who's agile, basically. You know, if you've got a, you know, agile experience or an understanding of agile, waterfall, that kind of stuff, that's what they want. Um, so they demonstrate an ability to take ownership of risk. So if you can basically go on the interview and say like, yeah, I, I'm, you know, I can take ownership of this, this is my responsibility, they're gonna like that. Um, strong analytical and problem solving skills. There are some sort of legal challenges in a way, you know, you need to, if you have any sort of skills relating to like legal writing, this will help. Uh, experience with AML, CFT, risk management practices and internal control functions. This is operational risk line too. If you have any experience, it's good. And then strong understanding of operational risk compliance within the finance industry. Uh, Mandarin speaking preferred though not required. Um, yeah, you see a bit more of that sometimes. So um, that should give you a bit of an idea of what they are looking for in terms of an AML analyst transaction monitoring person.